Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Saki. So I wanted to talk to you guys about a question that I get asked very frequently and that is how do you build a relationship with a sales associate or in the luxury community we call sales associates just SAs. You might have heard me talk about my SA here at Louis Vuitton or Hermes or Chanel a lot. And I think because of that, people always ask me like, how do you get a consistent essay? How do you build a relationship with them and get what you want? I've been putting on my fake smile, even though I'm wasting time. I don't want to be trapped in a box, trying to be like the rest when I'm not. If you don't know me and you've never seen me before, I actually have been shopping in luxury for a couple of years now, I think since 2016. And my luxury shopping consists of both buying pre-loved, secondhand, and also buying in store. And only very recently, I feel like I've gotten very comfortable buying in store. And there's just so many things and so many questions I had when I was starting out buying luxury as well. So hopefully I can answer some of those questions today and help you through the process if you are looking to maybe get a consistent essay at a luxury store or even you know start your luxury journey process. Um, I'm going to be talking about a variety of different brands like Hermes, Chanel, Louis Vuitton, Dior. These tips can pretty much be applied at any luxury store but I will also um, like let you know specifics when I'm talking about my own experiences because I'm obviously not an expert and my own experiences is really all that I have to go off of. If you did find this video helpful, please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I do luxury videos every single week and if you have any questions that I didn't get to in this video or I didn't address, please leave them down in the comment section down below and I will get to them. All right, so first step, how do you get a sales associate? How do you even like a approach the idea of, you know, getting a consistent sales associate that you work with. All right, so the most obvious way to do this is just to walk in the store and, you know, ask to look at something and somebody will help you. So this is the way that I mostly do it. So I will just walk in and usually somebody like at the door will greet you and ask you if there's something specific that you're looking for. Now, I think that the first tip that I have for you guys is actually to have something in mind that you are looking for to kind of be able to start a conversation with one of the essays there. I find that that is generally more helpful than saying like, oh no, I'm just looking around or, you know, something along those lines. If you have a specific product in mind that you want to look at, it really helps the SA like help you. And that's just kind of a good way to like start the conversation, if that makes sense. So yeah, I would do a little bit of research before going into a luxury store just to have something in mind to look at whether it be you know a small luxury good or a handbag or whatever now a question that I get asked a lot regarding this like initial approach or first impressions or first time walking into a store how do you dress so a lot of people go back and forth on this a lot of people will say that you really should dress to impress and you know wear nice things and expensive clothes so that people know that you're serious about buying there and then other other people say that you know it really doesn't matter what you wear you could be wearing like jeans and a t-shirt and a garbage bag or whatever and people will still help you because they want to make money I honestly think that the most important thing is like having confidence going into the store I don't know what it is but I feel like if you're not shy and just feel confident in your own skin I feel like that is just the best thing that you can honestly wear I know that sounds a little bit cliche but you know if you're the most comfortable in jeans and a t-shirt you know, just wear that. If you're the most comfortable dressed up, then do that. I also say that because um, although I do agree with, you know, just dressed how you want, I usually dress like a little bit over the top. So I feel the most confident when I am dressed a little bit over the top and I can really show my own style. So that is personally how I dress, um, especially when I'm first going into a store just so that I can feel myself, feel confident and have like, you know, good conversations 
friends and meet new people. I also kind of do need to wear something that I really like. It feels like a little layer of armor, especially when you're like meeting new people and talking to them for the first time. I don't know about you guys, but that always gives me anxiety. So um, yeah, I just find that dressing the way that I want that makes me feel the most confident it definitely does help. Don't worry about carrying like an expensive bag into the store or, you know, if you're going to Louis Vuitton, you have to carry a Louis Vuitton bag into the store. I wouldn't worry about that like at all. I've never had any problems. I don't feel like anybody has ever commented on me like bringing a Kate Spade bag into like a Chanel or Louis Vuitton store. So I wouldn't worry about that. But yeah, definitely focus on confidence. All right. So when you get into the store and you do start talking to someone, there are a couple of tips that... I will say that I don't feel like people talk about that much. So the first thing is like any SA that you're talking to, just keep in mind that they are working in customer service and they have to talk to a bunch of people, like hundreds of people every single day. I know personally from working in customer service, I own a restaurant. I literally talk to hundreds of people a day that it can get very stressful and very draining to talk to strangers and be polite to them. So it is very refreshing when I have a customer come in that like, you know, just asks me how my day is going or, you know, how the store is doing today or whatever, instead of just like right off the bat being like, hey, this is what I want. This is what I'm looking for. Um, I just find that if you focus on you know, the human aspect of like the um, sales associate that you're talking to. It just really helps to like build longer lasting relationships and friendships, if that makes sense. I'm not saying that you need to be best friends with all the essays that you meet. I'm just saying like, it doesn't take very much to ask, you know, another human being like, hey, how's your day going and things like that. And I really do feel like that makes a big difference. When you are talking to people, I feel like this is just like a general life advice, but when you are talking to people, I do feel like the best way to go about it is just to, you know, be yourself. Don't be nervous. Maybe find something in common that you guys can talk about while you're waiting for, you know, your essay to find the product or for somebody to bring the product from the back. For example, like if you have kids, ask if they have kids, you know, just things like that. Just like treat people as like human beings that you're generally interested in. And I feel like if you do find some like common ground, it'll be easier for you to get along with them in the future, especially if that is something you're looking forward to um, in building like a longer lasting relationship. Another thing that I do want to address as well is that um, some people ask me like what happens if the essay that you work with is someone that you just don't get along with. Now this is very very common. This has happened to me so many times and it's just how life is, right? Like you are a unique person. You are not going to get along with every single person that you meet. That's just very improbable. So what um, do you do in this situation? So this has happened to me before where I've been shopping at my local Louis Vuitton for literally years and years and years and years. Um, even before I started luxury shopping by myself, I've always gone in with my mom because she's always been a fan of Louis Vuitton and we've never found a person that we really connect with and I personally have just, um, I've probably talked to everybody in that store and I don't think that, you know, I get along with everybody on the same level as I do with my current essay now. And so what do you do in that situation? There are a couple of things that I would say that you could do. Let's just get this out of the way. It is going to be awkward, <laughs> but just keep in mind that this kind of stuff happens all the time. They see, like I was saying, like probably a hundred people a day. So, you know, don't feel weird about it. It just, it's just something that happens. And I think that they know that, you know, not everybody gets along with everybody. So, um, what has happened to me before is like, if I do find someone that I actually don't really get along with, um, I'll just come back on a different day of the week and I will just straight up walk up to a different person and ask if they're free to help me. And that way I can definitely like avoid talking to the person I was talking to before, if that makes sense. Cause this kind of sounds a little bit aggressive and it does help if like the essay you were working with before 
is like helping another client or something. But yeah, I will just um, kind of walk up to another person and ask if they can help me. I mean, obviously, you know, be polite about it. Maybe still wave to the person you were talking to before. But I think there's a general understanding at luxury stores that like you can switch essays if you didn't get along with the person you were working with before. So um, yeah, that is definitely one way to approach it. Another way to approach it is actually to call the store before you go and have something in mind that you're looking for and then ask um, the person on the phone if you could work with them. Hopefully it's another person that you weren't working with before, but if not, you can just keep calling and trying to get another person. I know that it sucks and if you only have like one luxury store in your town, kind of like how I do, it's just unavoidable if you do want to keep meeting people. So yeah, I would just say stay polite, like don't just completely ignore the other people that you've met before, but um, don't be afraid to do these methods if you, um, you know, haven't gotten along with someone. All right, and one more thing to remember after you've gone into a store and met with someone and talked with them, even if you don't buy something, I would always ask for their business card afterwards. That way, if I do have any questions, I can, like, you know, like call or text them. Most essays text nowadays, which I find is just so much easier than calling. And this is really how you start building a longer lasting relationship because now you have their phone number and you can, you know, kind of text them whenever you have a question. I would say though, don't be like so aggressive with the texting. I don't text my essays like I text my friends, obviously, um, just every once in a while whenever I do need anything. And then I always, always start off with like a, hey, it's been a while since I've seen you. How are you doing? And then ask your like luxury product related question. I don't know. I just feel like this helps you like come off as less aggressive. And like I was saying, it's just like generally nice to acknowledge like the other person as well. If you don't have any luxury stores where you're living in, another great thing to do is like when you're traveling to a different state. I don't think I mentioned this, but I do live in the US and where I live specifically here in Denver, Colorado, there aren't like a ton of luxury stores. So I have traveled like all over the US and every time I go to a luxury store, let's say like in California or Vegas, um, I do make sure to grab business cards from sales associates there so that I can text them later on as well. Obviously, I don't have like as good of a relationship with those sales associates as I do with the ones that live here in Denver because I don't see them very often, but um, I have been able to get a lot of stuff from other people in different states just from having their number because they can usually ship to anywhere in the U.S., which is really great. If you live outside of the U.S., I'm not sure how this works, so sorry, I can't really help you with that. But yeah, I always love getting other people's business cards when I'm traveling just in case, especially at the stores that we don't have here in Denver. So what do you do if you don't have any luxury stores where you live and you're not traveling, but you still want to find an essay to talk to? You? Now, I think that this only works in a couple of stores. I personally have only tried this at Dior, but you can sometimes cold call stores and get directly connected to the boutique and talk to somebody there. So I've actually done this um, at the Dior boutique in Aspen, Colorado, which is about six hours away from where I live. And then also I've like randomly called a Dior in Florida because um, they had like a stock of something that I wanted from there and they were able to help me over the phone like that. So yeah, definitely um, getting numbers over the phone does work as well. If you don't get directly connected to the boutique, like for example, if you call Chanel, they just have like a customer service helpline where they can like um, help you order stuff from boutiques. So in that case, you wouldn't be able to get like a sales associates number and really um, work on building a relationship with them over the phone. But, you know, like I was saying, other boutiques like Dior, I think like you can do with, I think you could do this at like Chloe and Fendi as well. Just some of the like smaller ones that aren't Hermes and Chanel. They are able to hook you up with an essay like um, just over the phone or through text message. Um, the sales associate that I was working with at Dior in Aspen, I literally talked to her on the phone and then grabbed her cell phone number um, just so that I can send her pictures of what I was looking for. And then that is how our relationship started. So yeah, that is also another way to go if you aren't able to get in store. All right, so that was pretty much the bulk of my advice. And then 
then the last thing that I wanted to kind of discuss is how do you keep um, a relationship with a sales associate that you like? How do you kind of like keep building on the first initial couple of interactions? And I would say the one thing that I always try to remember is to not be like super aggressive. Um, and what I mean is like, I don't text my you know, Chanel essay, like, all of the time, um, asking her for stuff. Obviously, like, in my situation, um, I just don't, you know, want things from every season, so I don't talk to them very often, but also, like I was saying, when you do start text messaging or, um, call them, just, you know, ask them how they are, that kind of thing really makes a big difference, and just try to be polite in your interactions, and I think that really is the best kind of advice that I could give you. Um, if you are someone who, you know, really loves luxury shopping, and you just maybe got into it, and you want to buy a bunch of things, and you know, that'll be different, but I think if you are still, you know, polite and genuine, that, people will always like want to help you. I think that's really all that I wanted to say. Personally, like I said, I'm closest to um, maybe three essays that I have here in Denver at Louis Vuitton, Hermes, and Chanel, and honestly, I try to treat them like as if we were friends. Um, I think that we're to a point now where like if there is something that I really want, like I'm not afraid to ask them, and I definitely didn't feel like that in the beginning, and because like we kept talking and because I feel like um, I genuinely try to get to know them as a person. They genuinely want to help me more too when it comes to, you know, getting luxury goods and that kind of thing. And I know that I'm, you know, kind of speaking on behalf of other people right now, but I do feel like they like me too. And, um, I don't know. I just feel like if you follow these tips and you just try to stay true to yourself and genuine and stay polite that you could have the same experiences too. But, you know, let me know what your experiences have been in luxury stores with building relationship with essays. Do you have any other advice that I didn't mention in this video? Please let me know in the comment section down below. I think it would be very helpful to everybody watching if you did share your experiences as well. Like I said, let me know in the comment section if you do have any other questions for me. Um, I was really happy to share my experiences here with you today and hopefully this helped you. So yeah, that's all for my video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe before you go and I will see you next time. Bye! I just wanna go my own way Gonna let the past burn down Cause honestly don't wanna be Stuck in more in conversations with you with you I'm done